making beef in red wine with shallots for my tea tonight so i've got to get it prepared now and put in the slow cooker so i'm just going to show you what you will need so you will need some braising steak or some stewing steak i've just got this one from asda this 400 grams there and i will just cut off any excess fat on there to make it free it says one small carrot however these are quite small so i'm using two you'll need a beef stock pot and a red wine stock pot 600 mils of water some ground black pepper some sea salt 100 grams of swede that's a 400 gram bag so i will be weighing that out half a chopped onion so i've just put some frozen onion in a bowl and <coughs> um, two sprigs of thyme I'm going to need one small potato peeled and roughly chopped and then shallots now it says eight large shallots however some of these are small some are large so i'm just going to look and gauge it that way um so yeah this is what you will need and the first thing you need to do is make the gravy so i will show you how you do that so i have weighed 100 grams of swede into my pan I've put in there the chopped up onion, the diced up carrot and also the diced up peeled potato. I've tried to do them all the same size so they cook evenly. Just going to add the 600ml of water to the pan and pop that in. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put it on your hob, bring it to the boil. And then once you've brought it to the boil, just turn it down and simmer it for 30 minutes until their vegetables are soft. So when that bit is done, I will show you what you will need to do after that. Okay, so while the veg is simmering away, what I have done is seasoned the braising steak on both sides with some salt and pepper. Sprayed the frying pan with some fry light and I'm just popping them in. I'm just giving them a few minutes on either side just to brown them. Then once they're browned, I'm going to pop them in the slow cooker. What I forgot to say as well is I've removed quite a big chunk of the uh, fat, excess fat that is on there. But I have left some on there. The simple reason being when it cooks it, it will be a lot easier then to just pull that excess fat out. So I've popped the braising steak in the slow cooker and what I'm going to do now is just pop on the shallots which I've prepared. So I have done nine or ten of them, I can't remember after I've just peeled them, chopped them in half. So I'm just going to chuck them in and then get in there with my hands just to spread them out a little bit better. So that is all I can do now, I'm still just waiting on the uh, vegetables that are boiling in the pan. Right, so now the veggies are all soft. I've just transferred it into a different pan because I've got to use a stick blender and I don't fancy using it in my new pan. So I've also put in there the red wine stock pot and the beef stock pot. So I'm just going to use the stick blender now to blend that up into a nice smooth gravy. So I've blended the gravy up as smooth as it can be. I think there is a few odd lump in there, but uh, it won't matter. It'll add to the flavour. So just going to now pour this over the top of the shallots and the braising steak. A bit awkward with all the steam. And then I'm going to pop in 200 mils of water as well on top of that and the two sprigs of thyme. So I'll show you that when it is done. So I have added 200 ml of water and two sprigs of thyme in there. I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to put it on high for four to six hours. So I'll show you when it is all done. So this is the braising steak in the red wine and shallot gravy. So this is what I've done. I've uh, paired it with a giant Yorkshire pudding and some veg and some mash. So it is a sim free for the the meal itself for the braising steak with the gravy. But obviously I've paired this with the Yorkshire pudding, a five sim Yorkshire pudding. So yeah, if you like to give this recipe a try, I will let you know how nice it is at the end of this video.